Jim Panky here with a great old Dillard's tune called Old Man at the Mill. I get requests for this and for whatever reason, I've just neglected doing it. And it's not because I don't like y'all. It's just, I just hadn't got around to it yet. So y'all enjoy it. It's short and it, it's got some cool licks that y'all should already know if you've been through any of my lessons. So let's just dive into this thing. But first, if you enjoy my content and if this is something that you like, how about hit a like button and maybe leave a comment. If you want to get over that streak of bad luck you've been having, hit the subscribe button. And if you want to get notifications when I post new videos, ring that bell. All right, let's look at this too. It starts with just a simple walk up and the walk up sounds like, and it's a pinch on one and three. I use my fingers and then fourth string open, fourth string at the third, and fourth string at the fourth. So it sounds like. And now we do, we do that potatoes thing. Did you watch that video? See, we're building. All right. But, but in case you didn't, what we're going to do is it's a forward roll with a slide on the fourth string from four to five. So, so four, with a slide, three, one, five, and we're gonna keep our forward roll going, so we're gonna do three, one, so it sounds like. And then we're gonna do that again. So from the lead in. Now we're going to slide back to the third fret and we're going to do four, three, one, three. And then we're going to do our slide with a forward roll. But this time we can start on the third string since we're already there. No reason to move. We're just slide four, three, one, five, three, one. So up to that point. Get the second string at the first fret and just pick that note. And now we're going to pinch one and two with our fingers and then a slide. So that sounds like. Now we're going to do our best to channel some Ralph Stanley. We're going to do a little lick out of Clinch Mountain back step. It's going to be familiar sounding. I'll leave that index finger down. We're going to put this finger at the uh, fifth fret and it's five, two, one, five. Slide back and you can leave your index down if you want to. We're going to need it later. So it's a good idea to have it there. Hit your first string and the first string open. And then you're going to put your string back down and pinch. So, so that sounds... And then we're gonna move this over to here. So from the first string to the third string, and it's a one, two, and then I do a pull off there. And then I reach to the fourth string at the third fret. So that whole little phrase, five one just to fill a hole and then we're going to do our potatoes thing and then third string third fret second string first fret leave those there and we're going to do one two three one but on the three we're going to bend it a little and just a little just just so it sounds Kind of wonky, a little bit out of tune. That's what we're shooting for. 
and then you can pinch the first and third strings open. So let me play through it really slowly for you. Same old man working at the mill. And you can do it. Places that you can mess with it is, is the lead in. You, you don't have to do, you can do it from the two. And you can change how those potatoes flow. So you could go. And see, we're, we're actually playing a partial F there. And so you could actually hold that F if you wanted to. If you wanted to. That's totally up to you. And you could do that slide instead of... So you could do the uh, three, two, one, five, one. And then the clinch mountain part, I would probably keep that, but you, you could. And then. So there we did that, but you could do five, two, one, five there too. So mess with it. Find different ways of doing it that suit you and, and fit your hand and create your own break to old man at the mill. Hey, I enjoyed showing you all this one. I hope it was something useful to you. Have a good time with it. We'll see you next time. Bye y'all.